Celsius. Get ready. Time to focus. I think you have to floor it here. Go, go, go. This guy forgot to start. Car right. Clear right. Oh. Oh, he's collecting everyone. On your right. Is he aware that we are Still on his there. side? Right side's clear. Was not aware, I think. Well done, Ben. Good start. Some people, it's, it's like they don't have the spotter enabled, it's crazy. Alright, let's be careful on the first few laps, the tires are greasy. Loving this, mate, this is perfect. P4. We gained up a lot of positions, we're P4. it's gonna stick 30 minutes is a long race if we don't have the pace it's gonna show What if the battle behind that's good for us? In Big Bend, it looks like Hodges. The leader's just done a 54.72. The guy in front has just done a 54.91. P4. Slow car. The guy behind is catching. The guy in front has just done a 54.78.
defend hard. Make them work for it. There's an incident in. Big Bend. Whoa. Keep your eyes on the line. Gonna have a run. All right. He's still there. Hold your line. Clear right. P5. Bad luck, Ben. Come on, don't I try to away. make him push hard so that he maybe overshoot. Thank you. But uh, he did it. He did good. He did good. Come on, man. What the fuck are you doing? Because when you're on the on the inside there, you don't see your breaking point. You're uh, you don't see the, the the markers. I live in Irvine? No, I'm in um, I'm on the west side. I'm in Westwood. Are you in are you in Irvine? Um, by the way, welcome to uh, welcome to the stream. Redondo Beach, okay nice. Front is increased to 1.2. That, that was a nice place to be right zero. now. With the heat, it's good to be close to the beach. Get the cool draft. Oh yeah, you're uh, went to UCI. Oh, you mean U University of Irvine? Okay, yeah, I, I see what you mean. <laughs> no, when when I say UCI on the on the on the channel info, it's for the the U, the, the international. Cyclists. All right, Ben. We've just cut the track. Yeah, association is like the L'Union Cycliste International. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's it's like the yeah the mountain bike association for a UCI athlete. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a nice place to be now. here. It's, I'm, I'm next to UCLA. It's a nice neighborhood. South Hill is nice too, yeah. It's a That's 20 minutes to go. really good food there. I love the restaurants in South Hill. Yeah, I, I can bike to South Hill and get a ramen and it's so good.
just done a the follow to the loop. Yeah, three, two. I've done it a few times. It's a nice, nice little urban loop, mountain biking with some urban trails. Right hander. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I've done it. I mean, it's been a while since I've done it. I don't know how it is now. It's been a couple of years since the last time I have done it. You used to go there once a week, yeah. It's a good week, week night, you know, night ride on the during a weekday. Your low level, okay. Yeah, I mean it's not that difficult, right? That loop, it's pretty manageable. It's not too scary. It's like it takes like I don't know how much time it takes. Is it like 40 minutes to do the loop? You can do it a couple of times, you can session it, you know, do a few laps. The gap in front is now 3.7 seconds. Alright Jesse, thanks for stopping by again. Good luck with the spa, 24 hours, man. I'm gonna watch your, your, uh, your exploit. On your right. Hold your line. Right side's clear. Car right. These guys have uh, beaten, clear right. beaten up cars. There's an incident in Big Bend. Seventh position. Whoa, this guy's going off track. He's going to do some rally cross. Yeah, the TCR are, are a handful, man. <laughs> it's like... He wants to understeer so badly. But it's good to learn to drive a front wheel drive car, you know. You mostly race F3, yeah? And open wheels. Yeah, that's what I do too. I do mostly open wheels. But I like to okay, chill man. with Hold the nerve. Just keep it smooth. with these no cars mistakes. once in a while. Sixth place. There's an incident in Big Bend. It looks like it's Olsen. Oh the guy behind went off in the first corner. This back marker is scary. Damn. That was unpredictable. Yeah, you bought the Honda. That's what I did too. I got the Honda Civic and uh, I just chill. I, I, I mean, I thought I was just gonna lap, you know, lap offline. An incident in not really Big participate Bend. in the races, but awesome. I was like, why not? Why not join the race? You know, it's. I don't mind, as long as I finish. So I don't battle too hard with the guys, and when, when they got a good run, I let them through. It's an I-rating donation. And if I'm gonna donate I-rating, I might as well finish the race, you know? <laughs> Thanks for the that's 15 minutes. Thanks for the follow. That's half distance. You're looking good for fuel. Yeah, we're going to do some uh, Formula 1 tomorrow. I think I'm going to do the, the I'm going to do the Grand Prix tour. Oh yeah, thanks. Thanks for the, the thanks for the comments. Yeah, I did a 
worked hard on this setup. He was. Uh... Oh, you're racing VR. Yeah, that's nice. I think VR is the way to go, and it's really the future for sure of sim racing. I still have triple screen for, um, you know, for comfort. But uh, as soon as there's a new generation of VR, I think I'm gonna upgrade. There's gonna be some new headset at some point. Oh, this guy is going off track. Your lap time was 55.92. Yeah, the streaming is tough. You need to do like um, Chris, who was was here before. He's got a two PC setup, so on the other PC is is showing the replay, and then the viewers can select the camera. And it's really nice. Okay, Ben, keep piling on the pressure. So the, make a mistake. The VR cam is just a small a small portion of the stream. You mostly watch the replay cam. Oh yeah, it's tough for... Uh, you don't really see the face of the streamer. That's the thing that's missing the, mo the most, I think. You don't see the reactions and the, the facial expression. The car behind is catching. The gap's now 0 0.37 B6. But at some point, it's going to be so much better in VR that I don't think anybody's going to race with, with triple monitor. And the price is probably going to go down too, and it's going to be a lot cheaper to get a VR headset than three good monitors. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm guessing at, at some point it's going to be a majority of VR players. In. Big bend. It looks like you got a view, the reverb. Yeah, there's always a lot of room to improve, man. Car right. Still there. Clear right. Come on, don't let him get away. Oh, it's the guy with a beat up car. <laughs> he came back from his rally cross experience. Is it the same guy? I don't... Maybe not. Maybe it's another guy with a beat-up car. Yeah, the guys with beat-up cars, sometimes is they, they got into an incident on lap one and then they're much faster than us and now they're coming back through the field. No point racing them too hard. The gap in front is now 1.0 seconds. Oh yeah, you mean the GPUs aren't powerful enough to push to push all the pixels? So what what GPUs do you have? Do you um, do you got it like a 330 Ti? Seven. That was a 56.54. That's what I have. It's uh, I use that because I stream with one PC, so I need the same PC to uh, to encode the stream and also do triple screen at 6K resolution. So um, you have the 330, yeah. So it's still, even a 330 is still struggling, man. Because it's like two 4K screen, is that is that what it is? That's a lot of pixels, man. Yeah, and if you want like 90 FPS to feel good. So uh, yeah, that's a lot of frames per second, a lot of pixels per second, man. But there should be a new um, a new generation of video cards soon when people are saying this okay, uh, ben, 10 minutes to go that's 10 minutes left this summer there, there's gonna be maybe uh, the 40 the 40 series so there's probably gonna be a 4080 I don't know if it's gonna be double the the power that'd be nice if they can double every time at one point it's gonna slow down I'm guessing but uh, 
Yeah, it should be a big jump. It's been a while, so I'm guessing... Uh, it's always a big jump in, in power consumption too. That's the thing. We're gonna need new power supplies. Yeah, next iteration, new GPUs, new VR headsets, that's gonna be nice. I might look into it, I might get one. So maybe the field of view is gonna improve too, right? So um, we're gonna be able to see wider. There's a battle ahead and these guys are fighting hard and sending it. Oh, he's got a good run. The orange car is gonna send it. Yeah, that's the thing. I like I like the triples for that. I can race all day with the, the triples. Oh, both of them are going off. What's going on? Stay on track. It's tough to overtake in that corner because you miss your breaking point. You miss your break. I mean, the marker. You don't see the marker. So you miss the breaking point, yeah. Yeah, you have a heater attached to your face. <laughs> That's how it feels, right? Especially here in SoCal. It can be a bit much. You've got half your fuel left. The car behind is reeling you in. The gap is now 3.1. If they could find a way to have just the screen, have it cool down, I don't know. I don't know what's possible with this. Sixth place. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 0.9. Well, we're still in P6. I thought we would be further down. Track temperature is decreasing. It's now 44 Celsius. Wow, a bit wide. He's gonna lose it. Your lap time was at 56.00. We're gonna put a little bit of pressure on him, see uh, if he makes a mistake. A cooling system? Yeah, man. That'd be nice. Like if it if it feels like cooler to have the headset on your face, like like on a cool day you you wear it to cool off, you know, because it's it's it feels better than not having it. That'd be so good. Stay close, there might be a chance here. Oh, the orange car is making a comeback behind. <laughs> There's an incident in Big Bend. We think it might be Dalton. You've just done a 56.46. The orange car is quick. He's just making big mistakes. Whoa, whoa, a little uh, out of shape there. Okay, Ben, five minutes to go, five minutes left. He's starting to make some mistakes.
That lap time was 56.50. Intimidate you. Oh, we were P6. catching another guy. We're catching Austin ahead. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if you made Watch a mistake. Now. We can catch this guy. Oh, he's going on the grass. We're doing it too. Oh no, he's got a good run behind us. He's gonna get it. All right. Let's see if he can outbreak break himself. Still there. Clear right. That oh, he made it. He made it. Oh, it's God, a... Don't panic. We'll get him back. It's a battle with four cars now. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know why he's slowing down. Is he out of fuel? He's slowing down a lot. Something's gonna happen. The orange car is so quick. Yeah, he just wants to get by. It's like, let me through. But it's tough to pass in this series and there's not a lot of power. You really need to get a good run, a good draft. Seven. Oh, 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 the car is uh, going rally cross. That's the Joker lap, right? It's uh, you need to take it once per race. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been to the Montreal Grand Prix many times. I used to live there, so um, I was going every year. Man, it's so nice. I was going twice a year, because you know, they have also the the IndyCar or That's NASCAR. Two minutes. Left. Two minutes. So there's two races on that track per year. All right, something like two laps left. But uh, yeah, I wanted to go this year, but um, tickets were really hard to get. I guess it's, uh, it's getting super popular now. Also the move ahead. Is it gonna stick? The orange car is finally through. You went one time, yeah? Many years ago. Oh yeah, man, that must have been nice. So that was the V10 era, right? V10 or V12. The big, uh, the big engines, super loud. Oh yeah, and you visited Quebec City too? Nah, yeah, nice. That's a, yeah, that's a beautiful city. The Renaults were dominant? Oh yeah, oh man. That was a good era, yeah. With Alonso winning the races. The guy ahead is pushing and he's always on the edge and should we send it? Alonso and Fisichella. Okay, Ben, we're matching race pace. Last lap. Your dad was the Honda fan, I get. So who was the Honda back then? Was it the, the bar? Was it Jacques Villeneuve and the bar on there?
Jacques Villeneuve and Olivier Panis in the, in the bar on the, I think. Right? Button and saddle. Oh yeah, that was a, uh, that was a bit later. Okay. Incident in Big Bend. We think it might be Cooper. All right, we uh, maintain that sixth place. P six. Okay, that's the finish. Well done, mate. I don't remember who was racing when I went there the first time. I remember seeing Lewis, Lewis Hamilton winning his first race. But yeah, I've watched F1 since um, 1996 when, when Jacques Villeneuve joined F1. That's when I started watching. Because uh, I was watching IndyCar before that. I was watching Jacques Villeneuve in IndyCar. He was the rookie of the year winning the Indy 500 that was sick and then and then he moved up to F1 so I switched to watching F1 and oh yeah that was a that was a good season this is rookie season fighting with Damon Hill